In fact, all universal collections are similar, especially these three that we are reviewing today. They differ in the way collection elements are accessed. For example, structures allow accessing stored data with a specific key of type string. So let us consider structures the way we did with arrays. The main difference between structures and arrays is that keys for structures are strings. And here is how we can complete the task of storing our customer's data using a structure. Nothing new yet. We simply create a structure with operator new. Now try adding new elements to our structure. As you can see from this example, elements are added to structures as key plus value, where keys are always of type string and values can be of any type allowed by the system. Now let us try to access data stored in the structure. We can refer to a structure element by a key using dot syntax or square brackets. Note that you can get a value from a key, but not vice versa. Now let us explore method property. Method property is for a different kind of search. First of all, it checks if a past key is present in the structure at all. And if so, the method can write the found value into the second past parameter. To see it in action, let us switch to 1C Enterprise mode. Well, the system managed to find our key. As a result, we get Boolean yes, followed by the value for this key, which is our client's name. Note that all keys within a single structure must be unique. Should you try adding a new value for any key, the old value simply gets overwritten. Now we want to display all elements of our structure, but before doing it, we should take a quick look at Syntax Assistant. As you can see, elements of structures are values of type key and value. So let us consider this in more detail. Each element in structures or mappings is a pair of type, key and value. We can get keys or values only by using special properties of this type. Now let's switch to 1C Enterprise mode and look at the result. Methods clear and count here work the same way as with arrays. So it's time to move on to the next type of collection, maps.